Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate all the new features in Color Master 3.0. So, first, we're going to actually want to install the add-on. So we'll open up our user preferences and click install from file. I saved mine on my desktop. I'm going to go there, click the Color Master V3.0 zip file and hit install from file. It'll take a second because it's a fairly large file. And then once it comes up here, we can enable it. Once we enable it, we see these preferences options open. For right now, we'll leave these as is. These options tell you um, where you can view the Color Master panel, and you can also choose whether or not you want it to show up in that editor. The most important thing is this big button that says Add More Looks. We want to click this and wait a little while. What this does is it installed some of the new custom um, color management looks and presets that come with Color Master. Uh, so you always want to do that when you install the add-on. So now that we've got that, we need to restart Blender for those changes to take effect. There we go. If we go back to our user preferences, pull up Color Master, you'll see that it now says press the button below to reinstall the extra looks. That's only if you want. We can leave this alone for now. So, you can find the Color Master panel in three different areas. The first is in the Scene tab of the Properties Editor. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see the Color Master. And we have our UI, which I will get back to in a second. If we go into the UV Image Editor, View, Tool shelf. We can find it under the Blender Master tab and then Color Master, which is right here. Here we go. Again, the UI, which I'll go over later. And then, last but not least, the Node Editor. And then again, show the toolbar. And then Blender Master and Color Master. So, the UI, I'll pull this out so you can see it better. We enable Color Master, and this sort of makes the preview looks stretched, so I will put it back. The first thing we have here is our presets list. Um, these allow you to have specified presets of all these settings here. So this is our look preview. We click on this. This takes a quick second. And we have a preview for what each one of our looks does. And we can scroll through them and select. And if you don't know, you can scroll through and select this one or this one. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just select the one that you want. And there are over 50 of these, actually over 100 of these. So you see once we've uh, selected one, it updates down at the bottom here. The next option we have is our view which is our view transform, which is the standard view transform in Blender. We have RRT, film, raw, and log. Then we have exposure and gamma controls. And finally, we have the look again, which is just what these previews are showing us. But it just shows us a text-based list so that we can choose from this if we want. We can also hit use curves to edit the color management based on a curve. Lastly, we have this import export dropdown. This allows us to import our own look file that we can see here. So if we go here, um, let's select a look file. Again, on my desktop, I have a ARRI look here. Select that. I'm going to name it ARRI test. Just you can name it whatever you want. And then you click import LUT. And it thinks for a little bit. You see it says LUT imported. But what we have to do is restart Blender yet again. Anytime you work with LUT files or import anything, you have to restart Blender. So now if we come down under Color Master, go back into the list, you see, here we go. Here's our ARRI test look now in the now in the little list there. Um, you can see the image for the preview that it's come up with is custom LUT just because 
can't um, specify a custom image but uh, just when you're scrolling down in the previews you will see it'll be up at the top you will see the little custom LUT here and then it says ARRI test and you can choose it and you can see it's selected here and if we render out an image you won't see anything right now because it's a cube but if we render out an image you can see that our LUT has been applied here because we can view it from inside the image editor and then what we can do is go through and change our look so it doesn't look too good on a small scene like this just a cube but if you were to try it on a bigger scene you would see a great big difference just to display this I will open a bigger scene here we go nope, wrong one render out an image here and we're not getting anything so let me take a look here I'm not seeing anything let's render this out here we go now we're getting an image Pull this back up to 50% so we can see what we're doing. Now we have our image here. We can scroll through the looks and set whichever look we want, and it will affect our image. It, we could even select the, the look that we did, our custom, and it affects it affects it based on whichever look you have. So on top of that, we can change our exposure that up and our gamma bring that down a bit we could use the curves tool to sort of edit the picture and we can also edit the views to get a bit of a different look now this is a fairly big image which is why the uh, user interface is a bit slow but that's how it works Another great feature of Color Master is the ability to just click the left and right buttons and it'll just change quickly for you. So you can just go through and see what each one does without having to pick through. So that's Color Master 3.0. I hope you'll get it. Um, it's only five bucks, supports me, my development work, and it just makes my life and hopefully your life so much easier when working with color management. So thank you and have a nice day.